6.30, here is Grayson Epley. Still a little bit of a cool down last night into those 30s for some of us, though warming up for our afternoon and today, getting into those 70s and even into those 80s for us here in San Angelo. Saw some cooler temperatures towards those northern parts of the Concha Valley, but again here in San Angelo reaching 81 for that afternoon high and that average of about 76. A little bit above that average, though last night a little bit of a cool down as we saw 39 below that average of 48. And actually looking towards our afternoon tomorrow, seeing a little bit of a cool down and other cooler temperatures for our afternoon tomorrow and our sunset. A very beautiful sunset for this afternoon. Going into our evening hours, actually seeing some of those stars on the cactus cam, looking out towards the west and some our current conditions. Current temperature sitting at 63, a little bit of a cooler afternoon compared to what we saw yesterday. Dew point at 39 degrees and the humidity sitting at 41%. And those winds a little bit stronger out of the northeast at 12 miles per hour right now. And again, that temperature change, seeing that increase as compared to what we saw yesterday, especially for those southern parts, the southeast parts of the Concho Valley, seeing 14 degrees warmer than what we saw last night in Junction, 13 degrees warmer from what we saw in Sonora. And not too much of a difference for us back here in those middle parts of the Concho Valley. Only about a five degree increase for us in San Angelo, as well as Merton and Robert Lee actually not seeing a change as compared to what they saw at this time yesterday. And those current temperatures right now. Most of us sitting in those 50s and 60s, 50s towards those northern parts of the Concha Valley, 57 in Coleman, 59 in Ballinger and Robert Lee, 60s towards the middle and even holding on to 170, 71 in Junction. A little bit cooler out in Ozona, seeing 59 as well and zooming out, seeing that kind of state gradient, really seeing those that gradient across the states, holding on to some cooler temperatures, still seeing some blue. 54, 44 rather, in Amarillo. 50s towards the middle, as well as some 60s, 70s, and even 83 out in Laredo, holding on to some of those warmer temperatures towards the south. And back here, though, back in San Angelo for those next 12 hours, we're going to continue to cool down, soon to be in those 40s, and that's where we'll stay. That's kind of how we'll start our morning tomorrow in those 40s, and then warming up again and cool down, not as warm for our tomorrow. But again, tonight, 42 for that low. You can see those winds out of the northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. A couple of clouds throughout the sky, though, mostly clear for these overnight hours. And for our afternoon tomorrow, seeing that temperature drop, only reaching those 70s for that afternoon high. Actually seeing some showers across the area. It's very clear skies for the morning. But as we go through that afternoon, those clouds start to increase and that moisture really increasing and seeing those chances at seeing some of those showers. Those winds out of the east southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And actually looking at kind of this cloud coverage that we'll continue to see for the rest of our night tonight really clear and starting to see those clouds move in Monday morning through the, the afternoon moisture increases. That's when we'll start to see some showers pop up into the Concho Valley and really moving off to the east. These fast paced showers actually not seeing them here for too long, but could see some severe showers out towards the southeast, really some hefty thunderstorms and moving out towards the east and then clearing out. But then another shot, some showers, another band again across the Concho Valley and then that moves off towards the east as well and then kind of clearing out for our Tuesday, just seeing some of those clouds and then zooming out and kind of remaining in place from what we saw le le leading off with our Tuesday, kind of looking for another shot of some showers Wednesday, really some on and off showers as we go through the majority of this week. And again, another shot at some showers for us Thursday as well as our Friday could see a couple of showers through the area, though very sparse and not too broad, but again, could be seeing some of those showers. And the main story, though, those winds could be seeing some calm conditions for our Tuesday, starting to see them kind of pick up, seeing those gusty conditions for our Tuesday, those breezy conditions, and then starting to calm down for Tuesday overnight. And a look at that seven day again, some showers really on and off for the rest of this week, and then looking forward to Palm Sunday on Sunday.